Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Splits. Now today I want to have a look at vineyards because I've been playing a few games recently and it's <laughs> there are certain things that bug me and it's a mistake that lots of newer or lower win rate players make especially on this map. Now some maps are pretty difficult to play. Vineyards is actually not one of those maps. It's pretty pretty straightforward to be honest with you. But what bugs me is this desire for every single newer player and I'm talking about players with less than sort of 5,000 battles and low win rate players and I'm talking your mid 40% and below their infatuation of going into the city and taking that sea cap because guys you are absolutely punishing yourselves you're putting yourselves on the back foot straight away and your chances of winning the game are greatly reduced. So why is that? Well, this is Vineyard. It's a big map. And I break it up into three thirds, basically. We have three caps, the A cap and the B cap, which is in the middle third. We have the C cap, which is in the bottom third. And then we have the old ruins in the upper third. So let's have a look at the city because everybody's infatuated with going to the city. Now the first thing you will notice that it's flat as a pancake. So if you are a haul down tank, then there's nowhere for you to go haul down here. Yes, there are lots of buildings. And yes, there are these sort of firing positions. In fact, there are four of them, I believe. There's this one, which gives you one position overlooking that cap. You've got this one, which kind of gives you two positions. You've got the middle one, which again gives you two positions. You've got this one which gives you two positions and this one which really gives you one position but again you're not haul down and all you can do is poke and shoot i also see people going here you've only got one firing position straight down that line that's that now let's have a look at the middle part of the map i'm going to ignore the, the northern ruins at the moment if you notice there's a lack of buildings but what you have got is a shed load of rocks some intermingled buildings but a lot of bumps and undulations. This is ideal for haul down tanks, number one. Number two, this is also ideal for those tanks with a big view range because you're gonna spot loads of stuff and be able to get into cover. This is your ideal positions, guys. It gives you so many different options. And not only that, unlike the city, you have got Firstly, the ability to push down towards the city while still having some cover in the form of the terrain around you. But more importantly, you are not restricted on your firing positions. If I stick a tank here, look, I've got almost the entire city map to go from. Anyway, don't believe me. Let's have a look at a game. This is me rolling out in the Type 61. Now, it's a tier 9. It's a great little tank. It's the Japanese tank. And we are not going to go anywhere near the city. And I'm going to show you why the city is such a death trap and why going out is your best move and will increase your chances of winning in the game. Why is that? Because you will have total and utter map control. So we've already taken the B cap. Now I've got a Vickers there. He's, di he's near the A cap. Nothing is spotted. I now know that every man and their dog on the enemy team is going to see. We are therefore going to be able to grab two caps, A and B. That is going to put them under tremendous cap pressure because they only have one cap open to them. We can grab two here and our points are going to tick up a lot quicker than theirs. Not only that, they've now got to push my team and they can only push from one of a few directions. All we've got to do is hang on this ridge and wait for them. And they've got to they've got to basically come across a lot of open ground to get to us. And this tank is a great little haul down tank and he's going across open ground, he's going to get smacked left, right and center and he is getting smacked left, right and center. Now you can see the other team is trying to put themselves into those firing positions that I showed you on the flyover. It's not helping them in any way, shape or form. You know, you've got an M103 there, which is a great little haul down tank, out in the open, basically on flat ground. Nobody can put shots into him because he's, he's relatively protected, but he can't get shots into us. 
there's a Vickers. What on earth is the Vickers doing there? What can he spot? Their Conqueror's gone, okay, we've lost a tank as well, but their Conqueror's gone, and their T-54E1 is down to a one-shot. We don't need to do anything, and I don't really need to move from this position. We've got the points, simple as that. We've got the better positions, we now control this map. And in a moment, the other team is gonna start to panic because they will see those points ticking over and they've got to push either the A cap or the B cap and they've got to take tanks out at the same time. Our Vickers gets a little bit over enthusiastic there. He's going to go down, quite rightly so, and down he goes. But they're still not caught up. Nowhere near. We've lost two tanks to their one. Now they're going to lose their 54. He's going to go down in a moment. And now look at this. I mean, what can they do? They've got to break cover. There goes the Vickers. They've got a brick cover. They've got no choice. And we have just completely controlled the map and dominated and decimated them. So guys, when you're playing vineyards, don't be so eager to get into the city because once you're there, if you give the other side the opportunity to control that middle ground, then you are in a world of pain. Now that's not to say the city strat will never work, of course it does on occasion, but it depends a lot on your tanks, what the enemy's got, and the players in your team. So if you really want to improve your chances of winning on vineyards, avoid going to that sea cap and avoid going into that town because all you're doing is forcing yourselves into a very, very tight bottleneck and you're giving the advantage to the other side. Anyway, I've been Fujit. If you enjoyed that, by all means, comment and everything below. Give me your thoughts on vineyards. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because you know, that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.